a big day. We are going to do the loft of the cabin. So I thought you could just spend the whole day with me because why not? Um, I just woke up. I just had a Kachava shake. Took the trash out. It's trash day. And now Cammy's here. I'm going to do a workout and then I'm going to get ready, drive to the cabin. We're going to assemble the entire loft. Um, and then tonight's Sparky's birthday. So we've got a little birthday dinner. So let's go. Morning, Camilla. <laughs> Come on in. Cammy is insistent on killing me today. We were trying to record the arm moves, but Cammy doesn't know how to work the vlog cam, but that's fine. I don't. It is sad back here. I really, one of our next projects, when we get through all the projects we're doing, is to make this yard look nice again. It's a little depressing, honestly, yeah. this little workout area. <laughs> we make the most of it. I'm a sweaty girl. I can. <laughs> that's fine. I'm going to show Cammy the bedroom we painted, and then I've got to hurry up, shower, get ready. We're heading to the cabin. We're doing the loft. Oh, I wish I would have got her reaction. Okay. She loves it. But seriously. Okay, it's the ceiling, right? The ceiling like changes the game. I know, it's pretty good. Wow. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. This it looks really beautiful. good. Just doing my makeup. Um, I forgot to document my whole getting ready process. Nothing really exciting, honestly. Just trying to look decent because I'm shooting a little bit of content at the cabin, um, but mostly we're doing the makeover, but I want to be ready because when I come back, uh, we are going to dinner for Sparky's birthday. It's the birthday boy! You wanna come say hi? He's dancing. Everyone's missing it's it. It's an especially good birthday because I woke up today thinking I was 39 and it's been two and a half hours and I just realized I'm actually turning 38. Only men would underestimate the age they're turning. Yeah. Women would like, or overestimate. I feel like women would always like overestimate like, oh, I'm really only, like that, have you guys seen that yeah, thing going around? They're like, I'm 29 plus, plus three. Like, it's like people are always doing that thing. So yeah, he literally added a year onto his life for no reason whatsoever. Just did my everyday little makeup routine, pretty much simple. I'm noticing that my brow lamination is kind of going away and but my eyelashes, cause I'd gotten them, um, like twirled and permed, what do you call it? An eyelash lift. I noticed that they're kind of growing in like different directions and I'm having like a low lash time right now. So I don't know if you guys know this, but lashes grow in a three month cycle. So like, that's why I personally have really good lash days and bad lash days. It depends on like how my lashes are coming in. So right now they're kind of wonky. And I just noticed that I like feel mm, not myself during those times. So I've been talking about wanting to try Lashify and I think they're sending me some more like natural ones to try because I've been like watching all of their lives. I'm like obsessed, but I'm too nervous to even try for the first time. So I did their live like little seminar thing and then they had offered to send some natural ones. So I think I'm gonna like really do some Lashify's, probably not this week, but maybe over the weekend or next week. I just have to give myself plenty of time. Like if I feel rushed in any way, shape or form, I just know it's not gonna go well. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna get a little breakfast change. I need to do my hair and then I need to head out to the cabin. Lighting makes such a difference. It's wild. I was just like, I was not feeling myself over there. And now I'm like, oh, okay, this isn't so bad. I need to get my hair in order ASAP. And then of course I'm running a little late. Even though it's Sparky's birthday, he's making me, ouch, a breakfast sandwich. And ouch, in all fairness, um, this is like not our real birthday for him because he's, he was hoping that he would be out of his brace, etc. We're doing like a more like a formal birthday for him. We are um, going to, I'm giving him an IOU for like a little weekend away. He's always wanted to go to Nashville. And so I was supposed to take, I wanted to take him for his birthday, but obviously that's not happening. So um, yeah, I'm gonna give him a card tonight with like a little like IOU trip thing as soon as he's like out of his brace and able to travel. So usually I would like do balloons and like all this crazy stuff. We did do a donut cake last night um, to like celebrate his birthday. Uh, so I'll show you guys that, but like we got, I got his favorite donuts and put a little candle in it and made him a special little coffee. Um, but yeah, I kind of feel sad that I'm leaving him today, but just, he needs to be here because someone's coming to pick up the mattress to take to the cabin from the guest room. 
because I have two extra, like I have an extra mattress there that's like stacked on top of each other, like Princess and the Pea style. Um, so he has to be here to have somebody do that. And then I've got to be at the cabin to receive it. And we need it there because here's the big news. Callie and Dan are coming this week. Um, it was kind of an unexpected last minute thing. They ended up getting a job here. So I wanted a place for all of us to sleep. So I just ended up rushing all the projects and like trying to like get it together really quick. Do you ever feel like you try to get things together and it's stressful and you have no idea how they're going to turn out and then they just fall into place? That's how I felt it, it went for me this time, which is much better than the alternative. But we're trying to get the um, loft at the cabin done and the bedroom done so that I have a, they, we can bring them to the cabin and host them and they have somewhere to sleep here. Because otherwise, we'd have to put them on an air mattress, which is not the end of the world, but all of the rooms in this place are so bright. Like, there's no curtains, no privacy. Like, it's just because there's stuff everywhere, because we're moving everything. Like, it's just not, not the move. Oh, wow. Um, oh, I got my hair done on Friday. I went blonde. Um, I'll show you a little bit of that. Um, these are just all my updates, I guess. So I kind of like went a little darker, which I don't think you can see as much here, but I kind of wanted to start moving into more blonde, like between brown and blonde to try to help my hair grow out a little healthier so that the coloring, like the essentially bleaching of it wouldn't be so bad. Okay, so hear me out. I was just about to curl my hair but I honestly think it's okay. Like, I don't think I need to, right? I mean, it's like kind of straight and kind of wavy, but like, I don't mind it. I just feel like it's gonna be too much work to curl it and I'm just not in the mood. And I feel like it's got like a little shape, which is fine. I feel like it's okay. I'm gonna bring my curling iron with me. And if I decide I need to curl it while I'm at the cabin, I will. But otherwise, I think I'm gonna leave it down and then I'll bring a clip in case I wanna clip it up. I'm feeling good about this. What's cooking good looking? Um, we have a, an assortment of breakfast sandwiches. Ooh. Okay, we've been making these little waffle breakfast sandwiches. They are really good. Don't mind the leftover basil from yesterday's oh, uh, whoops. chicken and waffles. <laughs> <laughs> he just told me that I'm gonna be getting 50 grams of protein. I've been trying to focus on getting more protein. So he's got bone broth for me in the microwave, which I add collagen to. Mm -hmm. And then... A little breakfast sandwich mm -hmm. and then a protein bar. For its little snackaroo. Yeah. Thank you. This is delicious. It's so good. Who makes these? I highly recommend. They're like frozen ones that we get. We just get them at Sprouts, I don't know. Yeah, we get them at Sprouts and they're like semi-healthy and have good protein amount and they're just like very satisfying. Yes. What I do love is that we get to have breakfast together almost every day. I love that. But today's special because it's your birthday. I should have put a little candle in it. Mm -hmm. I like to do as many candles as I can on a birthday, you know what I mean? Who did that? I feel like yesterday was a special breakfast. It was Sunday. We did have a special brunch yesterday. Yeah. Sunday, we took our time. We had a special dinner, mm -hmm. like an at-home dinner. All right, I'm gonna get packed up. To, I'll see you guys on the way to the cabin. We made it! We're here! Emily's inside. Let's go find her. I just got a call on the way here that the mattress mover is going early, so that gives us not quite an hour and a half to like set everything up. I'm falling over the pine cones. Everything's fine. My sad, saggy little bow needs to come down right, can we all give a moment for emily's hair today because it does look very it's cute so i'm like very into it okay so we are attempting to not only do this right now but also film it and that's always challenging so we're gonna have to find an angle to set you guys up while we do this so in case you forgot here is the empty loft it's not super big but it's got a lot of little nooks and stuff it's not bad so we are gonna set up the soft frame today and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this nook. Emily's down here, poor angel, holding this rug all by herself. It's a lot heavier than you can Okay, we'll just wait right there and I'll come help you. So this bed frame comes in a box. It's supposed to be very easy to put together and you just put it over a hard bed frame, um, like a hard um, box spring. So we're gonna see. I hope it's as cute as I think it's gonna be. I think the rug looks good. It goes over ever so slightly here. So I could probably try to trim it or it's probably just fine. I'm sweating up here. I feel like Emily is probably also hot, but she's just good at putting stuff together. She said that her dad always put stuff together when she was growing up and I realized I love my dad so much and he did some stuff, but he outsourced a lot. He was, he traveled for work a lot. And so I'm like, I don't feel like the DIY gene hit me. You know what I mean? How hard was it putting that bed frame together? What happened? 10 being impossible, I 
would currently put it at a seven. But if we had, if I had noticed that we flipped it the wrong way, yes. It would have been a five. Basically, we had the whole thing put together. Emily had it like almost all done. And then we realized one of the sides where the slats goes in was flipped upside down. So we had to do all the screws. And the metal was kind of like messed up. So we had to like flex and push it together to make all the holes line up. And I'm like, I'm truly sweating. But like, we can do anything. And it looks absolutely incredible. Oh, cool. Love that. My tripod just fell over because I knocked it with my big booty. But look how good it looks. I mean, it was actually so easy to do and it's so soft and cozy and I just think it's gonna look so great. So yeah, we're just waiting for the mattress to get here and then we're gonna make the bed and put the lamps up and this is coming together. I think I forgot to tell you guys that my entire like point of doing this is I really like the theme, if you will, was to make it feel like you were sleeping on a cloud in the sky because it's so high up with this view and stuff. So we were trying to brainstorm names for it and I think I came up with Skyloft, Cloudloft. Mm -hmm. Do you like Skyloft the best? Skyloft. We're trying to possibly rename the house. Her name is Little Apple, given to her by her previous owner. The official name from when she was made in 1959 is Star on the Rim. And so I was trying to think of like a hybrid name just because like, I don't see an apple tree on the property, but I guess she saw one. It is very cute name and it is like catchy, but she has the Instagram handle, which is totally fine still and uses it for her other properties and stuff. But um, I don't know, I was just like, I thought of an idea. I thought it could be cute to call it Star Chalet because it's like five miles from a ski resort and it's star on the rim and there's so many stars here. And like, I don't know, the little fun roof and stuff. So let me know if you guys like Star Chalet and Cloud Loft because I just like naming things. I'm like, if I have a fun, cute little house, like can I just be silly and name everything? We're putting the lights up. How cute is this lamp? Oh, the bedding. We didn't even show you the bedding. We're gonna do a full thing. But we got this marshmallow bedding. Um, it's really starting to look like a cloud, but my biggest concern is that I ordered these and I was 100% sure they were like pinky mauve and these are giving straight up lavender. So I'm hoping that with all the light, they kind of shift colors, but we'll see. Also, we made the point that maybe if they were like pink that they would look like a baby shower. I can't decide. Okay, I think it is looking more pink now that it's on. And I just told Emily, I'm like, it is what it is and we're sticking with it. So we just decided that we needed to cut all the pom-poms off that curtain to make it not look so cutesy because it was giving Pottery Barn teen a little, or like Pottery Barn kids. And oops, I just stuffed all of these in my pocket because I didn't have anything. And like, <laughs> I don't know why, I just think it's so funny. The sunset was so pretty coming down from the mountain. But I had to run to Target because I don't have a birthday card for Sparky, which I mentioned. So this Target is like, no, don't get distracted, don't get distracted. <laughs> only slightly distracted, only slightly distracted. This one has a little bit different layout than mine, so I'm like, honestly, I didn't mean to come in the closing section. I just ended up here. And no, we're not stopping. I guess I feel like I haven't been to Target for a while to shop, and I, the last couple times I've come, I've been like, I don't know. Okay, we need to stay on task. Also, I was trying to think if there was like just like a little gift I could give him in the meantime, like something cute or funny, but nothing's coming to mind. Oh, this is all Valentine. Z. All right. Everyone birthday, her birthday. I don't think he's a him birthday. Well, he's not my husband yet. I try to look for something that's like one of our inside jokes or like is kind of meaningful to us. He got me the best one for Christmas. I'm obsessed with candy canes. I don't think I've really talked about it here. Maybe I have a little, but like, it's not funny. My obsession with candy canes, it's like a true addiction that I have a problem about. And so he got me one that had like candy canes on it with like a pun, but I can't remember what it was now, but it was very cute. These are all dad ones, husband, dad. I want a funny one. I don't know, generic, no. Like if this was actual bubble wrap, maybe. He's not into baseball. He's not a Star Wars person no <laughs> this is stupid but it's making me laugh okay hear me out he plays the guitar this is so cheesy <laughs> that's kind of funny i wonder if it has a sound no it's just thick i thought it was gonna like bust out because i would be tempted to get him this if it would make him open it at dinner and it blasted loud and embarrassed him okay he's obsessed with golden retrievers I think this actually might be the one because he is obsessed with golden retrievers. Couldn't ever forget the birthday of someone as nice as you. 
I don't know about that message. Okay, this is cheesy, but legit, it made me cry because it's very us. And I think the little lions with coffee are kind of a vibe. It's very us. It's so sweet. I can't. Okay, I'm so cheesy. I'm doing it. Okay, I got him the card. I'm trying to decide. Let me see if I have a pen in here. If I'm gonna sit and write it. No, I only have lip liner. <sighs> Classic move. Should I write it in lip liner? This is my favorite. Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. Ooh, it's still good. We have to be careful. You never know when you need that. No, but I have two champagne flutes in the middle of my console. I totally forgot we brought those for New Year's. Okay, so no good. I did get myself a snack. The man in the car next to me is looking at me like, what's you, what are you up to, girl? My dad calls me girl. That's why I, like, he reminds me of my dad, actually. Um, True Fruit, Nature's Freeze-Dried Strawberries with Dark Chocolate. I'm thinking I might have one of those. I ate a protein bar. I'm so hungry. I ate that breakfast sandwich this morning, and then I ate a protein bar on the way home, and that is it. And that is not like me. I usually like get very hangry when I miss a meal. I got some Smart Sweets. <sighs> Keep the candy, kick the sugar, huh? That's what they say. I don't know. Sometimes they make you toot a lot. Um, if you have been following me for a long time, I once had like a very wild situation on an airplane where I ate too many smart sweets and got horrible gas and it was like an international flight and I also had my period and it was a disaster. <laughs> so in case you didn't know that. Let's see, sour watermelon slices by Lily's. Those sound good. I think I'm gonna do those in the chocolate. Let's do it. Oh, and I got myself a magazine, which after I bought it, it was like $12. So I will be returning it. <laughs> I just didn't think a magazine would cost $12. I'm sorry, that's like the price of a book. But it's called Leanne Ford's Feel Free Magazine, Art for the Love of It. And I don't know, I feel like I wanted to put this little art for the love of it on my vision board because I've really been feeling called for, and two, creativity for the sake of creativity. And I feel like since I make money with my creativity, sometimes I like lose the joy in it. Oh my gosh. I'm loving some of this. Okay, it's very expensive to do for a vision board, but I'm obsessed with the fact that the front of the magazine is one thing. It looks like she has a stick of Palo Santo or something. And then on the back, it's like the same image, but from behind, I'm feeling like it's $12, it's $12. You know what? We'll take a gander and we'll see. We'll see what we think. It's a really beautiful piece. I could put it as like a coffee table thing at the cabin. Listen to me justifying. I just, I didn't look at the price before because I thought magazines cost $4.99. You know, I did. Oh, got me in the jowls. Mm. Oh, oh, I'm not mad about these. I'm not gonna lie. These lilies, I'm not mad about them. Mmm, they're pretty good. Mmm, they're really good. Okay, they're very expensive as well. I bought my Smart Sweets, which I already think is a splurge, for $3.99. The Trufer is like $2.99. I'm like, mmm, the Lilies, I just, I need to learn to look at prices, honestly. It's a bad habit. So I was like, oh, my Trufer, whatever, I'll get these Lilies. I think they were like $5.99. They better be freaking good. And I just cut myself on this. This is why I shouldn't be allowed into a Target when I'm hungry. Oh, these are big. These are way bigger than I thought they would be. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. I need to like close my eyes and really immerse myself in the experience. I like the dark chocolate. I could do without the white chocolate they layer it with. I really could. Okay, oh my God. It's a malted milk ball, but instead of the malted milk, it's like a freeze dried strawberry. The ratio of chocolate to strawberry is a little, I feel like I could use more crunch of the strawberry, but overall, I'm interested. I know I'm not the only person that goes into Target for one thing and leaves with others. I had absolute blinders on when I went through the fashion stuff, when I went past the makeup, the body care, I was like, mm -mm -mm, and then I get in the checkout, my summer starts rumbling, $25,000 later, I have candies that are just gonna make me fart all through dinner, but at least I've deluded myself into thinking they're healthy. Let's get home. I probably only had about a 20 minute turnaround time and I did it. I'm I'm really into them. I'm wearing this little skims dress. I threw on my little fur vest. I think it's a real moment. But the biggest moment of all is that this is the first time Sparky has driven me since his accident about Ooh. nine weeks ago. Ooh. It feels like a real date night for the first time. I could honestly cry. I'm feeling like really excited. Nice. You haven't gotten to drive me. He hasn't been able to drive. It just feels normal. 
Yeah. I'm feeling emotional. And he said all he wanted was to be able to go on a date and drive me for his birthday. And here we are. Oh, we're going to go to one of our favorite restaurants here in LA. It's called Felix Trattoria. And it is the most amazing pasta. But we have been to Italy since we went there. I think twice. And I think we are going to have to now gauge it against real Italian pasta. But we're, we're going to see how it goes. I am so excited about this dinner. I am so hungry. Oh, BB. Thank you. You're gonna make a wish? I am. 